Welcome back. So, to fix the many-to-many -many relation, we have to learn a few things about many-to-many -many relations. Um, and this is probably stuff you already know, but I want, I want to go through it because I think this is, for computer scientists, this is one of the biggest issues when you learn about programming is many-to-many -many relation. They're just hard to comprehend because they're crazy in a database, in a relational database. And that's what we're working with right now, so we have to figure this out. We have this many-to-many -many relation and we're using .NET Core, the NT framework, right? And if I go into uh, NT Framework on site uh, Git, which it's open source right now, so you have access to this as well if you want. You can just go and, and have a look at the NT Framework right here. That's actually their Git link if you want to play around with it. Uh, and if I go and, and look at that and I see errors, there's one about the many-to-many -many relation. And current date right now, when I'm recording this, this is an hour ago where somebody is still voting for the NT Framework to actually implement the many-to-many -many relation. So it's not available right now. We cannot just add a few lines and it'll work automatically. No, it's not available right now. So we cannot do many-to-many -many relations uh, just by adding something in the Fluent API or something like that. We have to make it ourselves. And now in this post, in the top, there's actually a good explanation on how to do many-to-many -many relations in the current NT framework. He has a good example right here. And we're going to do something similar. So we're, I'm going to show you guys that. Before we do that, I want to change my drawing this lesson to show you guys how we can actually do this uh, change right here. Because we, when you have a many-to-many -many relation in a relational database, you have to make a new table. You're getting a new table in the relational database. I'm not getting it inside the business logic layer, but I'm getting it inside the data access layer in the relational database right here. So I need a new entity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this right now with a new drawing. So let me start out by copying this guy and pasting it in here. I'm going to put him in the middle here because he's going to be a new address, customer address, customer address. He's going to kind of be the mapping that glues these two together, right? He, I don't want this guy, he's not going to have, uh, whoops, he's not going to have any ID himself. He's going to have an address ID like this, and he's going to have a customer ID. So he's going to kind of bind these two together so we won't have a many to many anymore. Because what happens now is, I get a new relation here. Let me try and show you. This guy gets, gets dragged up here. Boop. And then we get this guy um, dragged down here. So notice, I'm kind of moving the relation, the many-to-many -many relation. I'm changing that now. So instead of having a many-to-many, -many, now I actually have a new relation type uh, called a one-to-many, twice. And this is how you fix a many-to-many -many relation. That's all it takes. We have to do a few more things, though. First of all, what we have to do is we have to say that a customer will have many addresses, but a customer address will only have one address available. Right? So notice now it just changed from many to many to one to many, and that's easy to map. Okay, sorry. And the same here, we're going to say a customer address is only going to have one address. Let's just grab this guy. Whoops, there we go. Um, a customer address is only going to have one address. So now we have a one-to-many and a one-to-many. And this is actually the table we now need to create in the relational part of this. So that's how you convert a many-to-many -many relation into a one-to-many times two. And in a relational database, that was what the entity framework had to do anyway. We need this extra table to make a many-to-many -many relation because you cannot do many-to-many -many relations in a relational database. You have to do an extra table like we just did a relational uh, table right here that kind of just says an address, uh, sorry, a customer address is kind of the glue that binds these two together and it means that a customer address can only have one customer, it can only have one address and bound together, we now can have a many-to-many -many relation with these three tables. So there we go. We just changed our diagram into actually having a relational, uh, sorry, a many-to-many -many relation.